so I had a really good weekend. You know, my, my migraine went away and I feel like my mood and everything just like got so much better. So I really was able to kind of relax and spend time with my family this weekend, which was like just what I needed. And I was super ready to like dive into the work week, you know? And my son ended up like spiking a fever last night, you know, go figure. It's just, and it, it always sort of happens that way where like I'll have an off week where I'm not able to work as much as I want or in the way that I want. And then like things get better and I'm about to like get back into it and then my son gets sick. I mean, it just, it's sort of, it is what it is. That was the second week back at school. So it's like bound to happen. Change of the seasons, that sort of thing. So I am, I guess the plan for today, I have like a ton of content I need to offload of my, my MacBook. So I have a two terabyte external hard drive. So I need to like move everything over there. There's so much on there so that I can continue to offload my other devices you know as a content creator running out of storage space is a chronic problem um and now that i've been doing more filming with youtube and stuff it definitely is taking up a lot more space i also started a side project this is something i sort of like came up with last week and so i'm going to be making a different youtube channel specifically for gaming content and I, I don't know if I want to be connect, like, I don't know if I want my online, I guess, uh, you know, what I am is like a persona, but um, I am me, but I keep a level of confidentiality anyway. And I'm not sure I want it to be connected to Shogabuga, so to speak. So I'm not sure I'm going to plug it quite yet. It's still like in the baby stages, you know, I'm trying to figure out like what direction I'm going to go. And I don't even know how much time and effort I want to put into this side project because it's not gonna bring me any income at least not initially you know I I have really enjoyed content creation because it affords me a very lenient schedule and I as a creative a creatively minded person it's wonderful to just make stuff and share it with the world um, and it's even better if you can monetize it so that is something that I wanna explore and that avenue in particular is something I'm gonna try and devote some time to as well. So, you know, it's like when the weather gets cooler out, I spend more time gaming anyway, so why not record it, you know? So, and in the, you know, in the event that it doesn't ever go anywhere, at least it wasn't like I spent too much time on it. I don't know. And even if I, even if I did spend time, I'm like, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the creative process. Like that's always the thing for me. <laughs> I did have two appointments today that I had to cancel or reschedule anyway. I, over the summer, my mom and I go get pedicures like every four weeks, her and I. I, I love treating her to that because she works hard and she enjoys being pampered. And you know, I figured why not? So had to move that to Wednesday, which is no big deal. And my GI appointment got moved back to the 20th, which I actually prefer. It's after my ultrasound that I'm having tomorrow morning. So it just makes sense to see the doctor after the imaging and stuff is done. So i um, gonna tidy, you can see there's a mess behind me. <laughs> I'm going to try and tidy up a little today and work on some administrative stuff as far as my business goes and you know we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'll, I'll probably take you along for my ultrasound. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so I went to Trader Joe's, when was that? Saturday, and I picked up some of this. I have been wanting to try Yerba Mate, I don't know if that's how you say it, Yerba Mate tea. I've been wanting to try it, and it's like very hard to find, at least like the real stuff, at least where I live. And I've been wanting to try it because apparently it's a different type of caffeine, it's very good help you with like focusing and it's going on two o'clock and I feel like I'm starting to crash a little bit it has 60 milligrams of caffeine per serving there's one serving in this bottle and this is the sparkling yerba mate beverage with hibiscus and citrus flavors 
USDA organic. So let's give it a try. Okay, wow, smells really good. It smells like tea, but I also smell the, at least the citrus. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's definitely not sweetened, I don't think. I'm not sure there's any sugar in this, which I'm okay with, but I think I was expecting some sugar. It's good. I was honestly, and this may just not be the, I, I don't want to call it not the real deal, but it's not pure yerba mate tea. I was expecting it to be a little more intense or scary because some people said that it tastes very strange or it's very strong. This literally just tastes like iced tea to me. And I don't even really taste the hibiscus. It's just sort of like, tastes like black tea. It's very good. And I like that it's not sweetened because sometimes it's just like too much. So I'm gonna enjoy this while I finish answering messages on my website. And I still haven't cleaned my kitchen, so I need to do that after this kicks in. showered and in my outfit for the day um, this is probably not for the entire day I'm a huge fan of comfy clothes and to me jeans are generally not comfortable neither are bras <laughs> so um, but I'm gonna do my makeup and hair quick here it's what time is it it's like just after 6 30 I had to change my shirt because I got makeup on it um, but I'm not complaining because this is way more comfy. This is, I got this from Target, the little boy section. <laughs> I tried to get it for my son and he was like, I don't want that. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna get it for myself then. But yeah, this is the look for today. <whistles> so the plan is then after my appointment, I'm gonna get my gallbladder scan. I'm also, I need to get lab work done and then come home and just jump into work. Okay, my mom just arrived and she's going to see my son off to school this morning. My appointment's in 20 minutes, so I'm going to hit the road. Okay, I've arrived. It is so foggy outside today. Like, it's sunny, but then I got into, the like, two towns over and everything is just shrouded in this creepy fog. That's kind of cool. Always makes me think of Silent Hill. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head in here now, get my scan and my blood work, and I'll let you know how it goes in just a couple seconds. All right, guys, I'm all done. Got my lab work done first and um, and then I got my scan done. It's 8.35, my appointment. I think they saw me at like 8.15. I don't know. 
but it was fairly quick and I actually know this ultrasound technician so her and I just kind of like talked and caught up a little bit while I was getting the scan done which was really nice she did not say anything which I don't think they're generally supposed to do anyway but hopefully I get some answers here soon as to what to do with my gallbladder and if, if I need to do anything anyway so my little ones at school I'm gonna go home I need to hydrate I wasn't allowed to eat or drink for eight hours before and that's generally not a problem uh, especially because I was like sleeping but I love to drink water and I haven't had any water yet so I'm gonna go home and hydrate drink my coffee and get some work done today Evening walk before yoga to warm up the muscles. Okay, it's Wednesday morning and I have the appointment with my mom to get our toes done today. So we're gonna go do that now. That was just what I needed. The spa pedicure is just mm, chef's kiss. But that was actually the last appointment that I'm having for, I don't know, for a while because I just redid my budget and I'm trying to save money here more. And it was fun to do during the summer because you know I'm wearing flip-flops all the time. We're entering fall, winter, and I can do my nails at home if I really need to, you know? And my mom is totally okay with taking a break as well. Like she totally understands and has been so appreciative of me treating her to these pedicures all summer. So that means a lot to me. It's Friday and I'm so glad. It has been a pretty good week. It was really productive and like going up this little roller coaster and then after Wednesday, it just kind of went downhill, at least for me. Um, specifically, yesterday I had a panic attack and I haven't had one in, I don't know. I like to say that I was in remission and that all changed after my experience in the emergency room when I was given Haldol IV, which is really frustrating. I also, turns out I need to have a colonoscopy done which I know is very routine and I'll probably vlog the experience too, just because why not? There's just some, I feel like from head to toe, there's an issue with every part of my body and there is no common thread. So it's very frustrating, very exhausting. I have been struggling with 
health anxiety my entire life, but I would say in general, the majority of the people in my life are extremely supportive and caring. I think that it just messes with my head a lot and causes me even more stress and anxiety, which is difficult to manage sometimes. And I have to be graceful with myself. Like yesterday, I had a hard time wrestling with my feelings and I just had like an emotional um, explosion, I guess. I don't even know if you'd call it that, but an emotional release where I allowed myself to cry and to grieve and feel angry because I had kind of been trying to stifle this panic attack and it eventually just you know, came out. I'm thankful that I have prescription medication to help when those moments are overwhelming, but it did, this all happened in the morning. So I had to take half of a medication and that pretty much rendered me useless the rest of the day. So I just kind of took a mental health day and um, didn't wear makeup or nothing, you know, just stayed in cozy clothes and laid on the couch and watched, um, I watched like a movie or two. I did do some work but it wasn't like it was more just behind the scenes stuff on my laptop so I'm very grateful that I have the flexibility to do different types of work when I'm not you know functioning 100% the weather has like officially changed it's very cold outside which I enjoy I'm ready to put the air conditioners away <laughs> So I do have some things I need to accomplish and I actually have the house to myself this weekend, which is really exciting. It doesn't happen often. So I need to capitalize on that time and get some content taken care of. But yeah, I think that that's gonna be it for the vlog this week. I hope that you guys had a good week and I hope that you're staying hydrated and taking your vitamins and taking good care of yourself and just um, be, be gentle with yourself if you're having you know, a mentally challenging day or an emotionally challenging day. Those things happen and I need to take my own advice. You know, it's totally part of the human experience. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. Take care of yourselves and I love you. Bye.